Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Second Cup of Coffee. Pastor Tom here with you. Uh, thank you for joining us. A uh, little bit different set. We're in my office today, and um, we're on week uh, four of our series, Identity. And uh, we've been looking at David and Goliath. And I just want to touch on the issue of discernment. When this started, what everybody would see, and even what it says in the Bible, is that um, Goliath was a champion of the Philistines, and he would come out. And while that is true, it is not the veracity of the situation. For 40 days, um, Saul had an opportunity to walk in discernment and grasp the veracity of the, of the situation, which was, he may be a champion of the Philistines, but he is not our champion, and he is not stronger than our God. I think Saul was having issues because he was trying to discern things through his soul because the Spirit of God had left him. So I want to uh, encourage you, challenge you a little bit today. Don't let go of your discernment. Ask God into the situations that you are maybe not seeing clearly. Uh, maybe you see something and you can't put your finger on it and you're not quite sure what to do, then ask for wisdom. God says that he will show up if we ask without doubting. What, what does that mean? It means that I trust that he's going to show up and that I'll know wisdom when it shows up. And I'm not going to run around looking for it. I'm just going to wait on God to bring it. But I'm not going to let go of my discernment. Because when David comes onto the scene, it really, not as a warrior, but as a servant, he comes onto the scene. He has a clear discernment. This is an uncircumcised Philistine, Philistine mocking the armies of the living God. Not a dead God, not a distant God, but an active living God. And so he goes to Saul and said, I'll take care of this problem because he saw it with discernment. He didn't see it, see it out of his soul. So sometimes we have to submit to God by the request of wisdom, God, give me wisdom in this situation because there's something I can't put my finger on, but I'm not going to let go of my discernment. Um, but I need you to make it very clear what's going on here because I can't, I can't see it. And then we have to trust and we have to wait. Psalms 23 says that he leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. What is that part of that means? It means that alignment of my soul to my spirit, my spirit is in the hearing seat, not my soul. My spirit is in the discernment seat, not my soul. When that alignment comes, then wisdom comes. And when wisdom comes, then I have the opportunity to act much like David did. So don't let go of your discernment. Hold on to your discernment. Get your soul under out of the, the discerning seat. Allow your spirit to sit there until the Holy Spirit speaks. And when the Holy Spirit speaks, you'll know it and wisdom will come. And when wisdom comes, act on it, and uh, God will bring a victory. It's much what you see uh, in this um, uh, with David and, and Goliath, and I think there's clear demarcation between walking your soul, what Saul was doing, walking your spirit, what David did, and the difference between the outcomes. So we love you guys. Thank you for hanging out with us. We have a wonderful conversation with Bree Argetta coming uh, up next week, so be looking forward to that. And uh, if you like this, it meant something to you, please share it. Uh, you can find us on our app. You can find us on our YouTube channels, either Rancho Christian Center or um, RCC Second Cup of Coffee. Um, you can also find us on Facebook. We love you and God bless you.